morning. His name is Jesus. There's nobody that will go shy. I don't care what's going on in the world, he still has power. Uh-huh. I've been calling on another name. I said his name is Jesus. But you give him a nickname, it ain't Cheetah. His name is Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I love him today. Do you love him? All those that love him, clap your hands and say, I love him. So let me honor the Lord today. There's another something we like that we worship him and praise him. Because he's been so good and he's been so kind. And I just want you to tell somebody around you, he's been just that good. I should have lost my mind, should have went crazy, should have threw in the towel, but thanks be to God, he's such a wonderful savior, he spared my life, that's why I don't come to church for distractions, I come to church to get some from God, oh I come to get something from God. Hey, I'm a
I still believe him. In every situation, I still trust him. He's gonna do just what he said. He's gonna do just what he said. Watch him do it. I said, watch him do it. And we still trust them to do exactly what he said. We thank you. Singing 
this morning yeah. and he confirmed it. He said, I'm trying to take him on a path. Yeah. And I have destiny for him. Yeah. Don't never let anybody dictate to you yeah. where you go, what you do. Yeah. I hear you say the Lord, you've been having awesome. things in your mind that have been playing. Yes, you said you didn't want to talk to your pastor because you didn't want uh, me to get in the middle of it. He said, but I'm going to lead you and guide you. There's more inside of you, son. There's a whole lot inside of you that he's given to do for you. He said, you have to pick your path and choose your path. This is what I want. Now I'm going to tell you ahead of time so that nobody else will have to tell you. This is going to be a lonely walk. can't have everybody around you, especially when you're trying to hear from God. This is how I know that when people try to hear from God, you can't be around everybody. I don't think that don't stop your friendship, and they should understand. But when I'm trying to hear from God, I cannot be around everybody. Because I want to hear the right voice and not your voice. I don't want to get them crossed up. And what has happened to some of you, you have to have crossed voices. See how quiet it got? You have cross voices that you, you you heard other voices because you trust that voice, but was it the voice of God? Because there are some people that will speak out of their emotions, but it may not be God's will. He have you speaking to me out of emotion. What is the Lord saying in the path that I'm about to take? Don't worry, son. He's going to direct you. Trust me. Hear him and hear him well. Yeah. Let's go to St. Matthew's, the first chapter. It's already all right.
Uh, what he's saying, we have to be careful and watch Satan and his devices. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, very keen, Pastor Frederick, um, of what is going on. Yes, I said Pastor Frederick. No, I, heard someone else say, I heard someone else say, what? I said, no, I'm not. Total plane with him. I'm trying to hold back, not say it, but it is. You don't have time to play games. It is what it is. And we spend so much time in trying to be orthodox. And, but God said, if I anointed you, I anointed you. A lot of what the church does, man of God, is we come to church with our issues, our own personal issues, and we push them off on other people as if they're wrong when really deep down inside of you, you got the problem. Okay, you, you, the reason why you can't get along with people is because you have abandonment issues. Don't cry now. You, 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 the reason why you, you don't want to be around people because you have a strong spirit or you've been dealing with rejection. All your life they've been rejecting you. Your boyfriends cheated on you. Your girlfriends cheated on you. Your mama walked away. Your daddy wasn't there. So you've been dealing with rejection. So when you get to church, the first thing you do is push rejection. All of this is not the devil, Jimmy. It's not the devil. It is you. Let me, let me preach it when I come to home. I want to be a vessel that God can use. I'm gonna say this and you better grab it with all your might. You better, I don't, I haven't crossed every T. I haven't dotted every I. But I'm determined to finish the sentence. Wish I had somebody would grab that real quick with me. I'm determined to finish this sentence. I know I didn't cross every T and dot every I. I already know, but I'm going to finish this sentence. People don't want you to finish it because they feel like you didn't cross the T or dot the I. But you want to finish this sentence. I want to speak that to about 20 of you real quick. Reach up and grab it and say, I'm going to finish this. All right, let's go here. Matthew 1 and We've been talking, getting older now, uh, we've been talking about a private process, a private process, and we've been coming from the story about how that um, Mary and Joseph, and how that Jesus came along and was born in a manger, wrapped in swallowed holes, how different all of that was really private. And uh, we talked about the last time that um, there's no pleasure in our purpose. You remember that? Yeah. All right. Today I got something else. When we talked about there's no pleasure in the purpose, that means, watch this, she did not get to experience um, the real way or the proper way of being pregnant. Because she didn't get pregnant by human man, she got pregnant by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not an it, it is a him. That's why he could plant the seed. It ain't a she, it's a him. It is a spirit of God. It ain't an it. The only way you can conceive is you gotta plant a seed. So he planted a seed, the Holy Spirit, in the womb of a virgin. I'm a virgin. I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna keep on going because I'm gonna stop there. Some of y'all can look at the floor. Because I don't smell any virgins in here. And I'm, not, I'm not talking about children. And I'm not talking about children. And I'm okay, Arbor Jenkins. All right, be nice. I've experienced life a little earlier than I should have. We're not going to fault you because we all probably had. Why y'all ain't going to talk up now? You wanted somebody to think that you was a virgin before you got married? No, 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 you weren't here, baby. He already knew it when he went there. 
He knew somebody already knocked on that door. Why y'all quiet? And I thought some of you said, well, I ain't never touched a woman, so I'm a version of that. Well, be nice, Aubrey Jenkins. Be nice, Aubrey Jenkins. The church started looking home. I got viewers at home. That's a Bible study lesson. Because don't ever try that with me. Because I can feel, and I can discern, and I can hear real easy. We don't have to play the dumb game here. Not here. Well, we are here and under one roof, and we all got issues and struggles. You got one, I got one, we all got one. But the only one that can save us is God. I wish I had somebody clap hands and say, he the only one that can save me. Aren't you glad that people can't save you because somebody will leave you to die? Lord have mercy. Somebody would have left you out here and left you for day. I'm so glad God saw me in my own blood, polluted, hey, and told me to live. I wish I had somebody say, he saw me. Even when you thought you saw me, God saw me and told me to live. I just want to speak to somebody in here real quick, tell you to live. And for those that will grab this and say, guess what, I'm going to live and be happy. I'm not just going to live, I'm going to exist. It's time for us to exist in this world. No, I'm going to not just live. I'm going to exist. I want my name to be mentioned. Let's go. Come on, Ivory. Let's look at what Matthew 1 and 19 says. We're getting ready for convocation. We got such great preachers coming. And we already want to have this atmosphere, this room set. I know I want to hear from God in every area. I've got to, um, he's got to hide you because what's in you, people of God, or what's inside of you is starting to show. If you are not showing, then nobody would know. It could be just your secret. You can wear big stuff and try to hide, um, you know, what's happening. Um, you know, this era, this era that we're in now, we don't hide too much. You know, there's nothing private about our lives, um, what we do, and we really don't even care. And a lot of you want to get upset talking about staying in my business, but you put your business out. You, you, you make it public. But you want to tell people I'm dating privately. I'm dating privately. It's none of your business who I'm dating. No, here's the great one. I'm moving in silence. You can't be moving in that much silence because you, you told somebody that ain't moving in silence. You cannot be hidden because now you are showing your anointing, your uh, gift. They are showing, it cannot be hidden. And what the Lord is, is trying to tell me to tell you today is that when you have it, you just have it. When you got it, you got it. No need to hide your anointing. No need to hide for people. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I just got here. I don't want, no, 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 no. You're showing. Yeah. Okay, Pastor Frederick, you're showing. Okay, y'all don't like Ella John L, you're showing. Y'all don't like my talking here. When you're showing, you're showing. People don't like it because you're showing. But see, listen what it says here. So, because you're showing, you only um, are showing because there's something that you're about to birth. You only can hide the purpose that is in your life but for so long. And I know some of you, and I'm trying to, I'm, I'm slow talking for a reason, so I'm, I'm going to finish this up. Some of you have, um, um, let me say this right. Some of you have said, you know, I don't want anything to do with church or go to church or come to church or deal with church people. Watch this. When in reality, you have something in you 
that you need from the church. Right. Now, where we mess up is, and I'm assuming people are going to read to this, we get connected to people that go to the church that make us think differently about the church. You know, I'm so grown in my life now that I don't want to be around craziness. a bunch of craziness that kind of wear you out and age you real quick. The reason why some of you look at your aging very quickly because you're around so much mess is pulling your very life from you. I don't care how much oil of a lake you put, I don't care how much cucumber you put on your eyes, you're old looking because your life is being drained. Because you're being around too much mess. Your whole complexion is turning. Y'all quiet in here. Y'all don't like my talk. I don't care how much makeup you put on. You're still dark. And that goes for men and women. I don't care for what you put. You're still dark. You're still black. And it's because, watch this, you have been around so much mess that it's draining the life out of you. You don't have nothing to give to the church because your life all week has been drained. because I've been drinking the whole week. I can't really praise God with a free praise because so much is bottled up in my mind and so much I got so in my heart I can't even lift up holy hands watch this because I got so much going on this is why I come to church and have a spiritual detox. I will not be in church and go to hell from the church. Not from the church. Let me go from the club. Let me go from the street but not from the church. So you got to be around a crowd of people to make you feel important. It's a shame that you only feel important in church. It's a shame you only a church wonder. You're not, no, you, nobody knows you nowhere else. You're not nothing in the neighborhood. You're nothing on your job. You're nothing in the street. Not, the only place you are wonderful is in church. That's a shame that you only come to church to be wonderful and dress up and come to church to be wonderful here. And really, to tell the truth, we don't even care. We all on the same level. We all on the same playing field here. So you are growing. And now you're showing. Okay, I'm going to say it again. Growing and now showing. That ain't bad. If I wasn't showing, that would be something to worry about. Especially if I'm carrying something and it's not growing. Am I carrying something, Woody, and it's not growing? Is it already dead in me? How am I feeding it? How am I nourishing it? Is it just already dead? Is it still born in me? Did I do something to kill what's inside of me? There's something I got to burn, but did I have already killed it? With my mouth, my actions, my, oh, my demeanor? Have I already killed what God
going through some things that have been contradiction. It's been going against the opposite of what we heard. I heard God, you're going to make a way. Look like the way has never been made. Lord, you told me I'm going to be rich, and look, I got poor. Lord, you told me I'm going to heal my body. Lord, did I give me another report? What is going on? What is going on? What are you doing now, Lord, I know I heard you. I know I heard you. But it looks like the word that I got is going against what I am seeing. Talk, Mary. Mary said, I went through the same thing. They told me I was a care of child, and I said, how could this be? I never knew a man. Because you're not, nobody's not crazy because you ain't gonna be able to talk to me any kind of way. You 
You're not going to tell me what to do. No, 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 no. See, some folks want to get around you because they know they can talk you down and tell you what to do. Jump, sit, come pick me up, take me to the store, buy me this food. No, 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 no. Not with me, baby. You like that spirit of control. And here we go back again. The reason why you like that spirit of control because you have had rejection. So you want somebody now to control you. Control. Yeah, they say nothing. Control me. Now talk, sir. My friends will tell you. They don't, they don't like going. They don't like going with me. Some of them. They don't. No, 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 no. When you go on trip, they're like, ah, no. If I say you all go, I said, well, listen, you go your way, I go my way. When we go to New York, I mean, the, the boys they got one old store they go to. I said, I don't go there. I go this way. And then we'll meet up together. But you're not going to change me because you think you can tell me what to do. And I can't tell them what to do. That's the kind of people you need around you. You need some people around you that are not yes people. And that's why some of you can never grow because you got too many yes people around you condemning and to oh, all, not condemning, excuse me, are agreeing with what you do. Tell them you're wrong for that. Joseph says, let me hurry up. Food, got food, got food, food. Joseph says, I got, I've got to put you away, Mary. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. But I gotta put you away. <laughs> you know I love you. Because I, I even understand that what you're carrying is not mine. But I still love you. I don't, we don't have the same anointed, but I still love you. Some of y'all can never do that because you would get jealous of what they carry. Can I say something? I need y'all to grab it real quick. The reason why some of you are having issues with people is because they know what you're carrying and they're jealous of what you're carrying. Because you're showing. what you're carrying. <laughs> Everybody could not handle Elder Thigpen taking care of somebody else's child. Everybody could not handle him taking care of somebody else's child. You mean to tell me I gotta take care of somebody else's child? Feed him and hold him and put him through school. You gotta be a special person to be able to handle that. Watch this. Now I used to think, I used to think that um, before now that Joseph put away because he was embarrassed. Or he's embarrassed about her. But when I noticed that the Lord sent an angel to tell Joseph not to be afraid, that's what he said. The woman is carrying the Messiah. So Joseph did not put her away because he was embarrassed. Joseph put her away because he was trying to protect her. Don't know how it is. When, when, when folks don't know the whole story, they start running their mouth. You, you, you only got a piece of the detail, but you don't know the whole detail. You talk, you know, I mean, you, you just heard through the grapevine. When people don't, you know, understand, they will talk. They will, right. They'll run you down. I said something this week, Pastor, Pastor Harris Church. I said that when we grew up in the old church, old church, um, they used to put women that got pregnant out of wedlock on the back bench. It's a shame today. When I think about it, when I think about it, it's really sad. They should put them on the back bench and none of us could talk to them. It's like they had leprosy. They was on the back bench. But here's the part that I didn't never ever get. She was on the back bench, but he was still on the music. She was on the back bench, but he was still moderating the service. So you could not 
speak to them. You couldn't say nothing to them. They couldn't praise the Lord. They couldn't get an offering. They had to sit there in the church. And a lot of them that went through that in that era, in that church era, are out of church right now because they've been scarred. And nobody from the church has went back to them and said, you know what, baby, I know they did you wrong. I know they scarred you, but this is a new generation. We don't believe like that because we all have sinned. And what somebody should have did while you were in that vulnerable state should have loved on you, should have comforted you, should have told you that God still loved you. But instead, we let the devil sit them in the back and talk to them right in church. to that sea. Now y'all want to know why you got murderers and rapists because they regret. This is why some folks have never come to the church. This is why some folks are Muslims because that seed was planted in them and y'all trying to blame it on the devil. No, we need to go back to the church and we correct some of the stuff we put on people and let them know you're not going to hell just because you slipped. He said we all have sinned. God, he gave us the grace of God to restore sin. If anybody be caught in a fault, you that are strong They are can't bezel above. 
Some of y'all get loyal to you. Confused. You're mixing them up. Because somebody's around you don't mean they're loyal. Might mean they're nosy. Just because they buy you lunch don't mean they're loyal. Just because they gave you the rest of the money to your sneakers don't mean they're loyal. Because they supersize your meal at McDonald's don't mean they're loyal. Because they offer you some gas money don't mean they're loyal. Watch this, even if they gave and said you could come over to the house, that's a setup too. Because they ain't loyal. Now some folks that said you can come over to the house so they can sleep with you. Now some folks that want you to come over to the house so they can find out your sleep. Why y'all quiet in here? Some of you done got roommates and you mixed up your assignment with some sexual things. Come on here. You got to know the difference. Is this my assignment or is this what I'm going to be connected to? And some of you have to repent because you messed up your assignment with some ooh, Oh, let me be nice. And I'm sorry for what we did. Listen, we got to get this together. Why y'all quiet in here? And this is why I'm so delirious. All y'all church folk sleeping with each other. I ain't got no help in here. You said that was your brother. You said that was your sister. But you're laying up with them. Okay. Stop calling everybody your brother, too. Stop calling everybody your sister, too. You just met them on Facebook and three weeks later you talk about that's your brother. You don't even know them. They don't even know your mama. If I don't introduce you to your my mama, then do you know we ain't that close. All right, let me keep going. This is why you need somebody who loves you enough to hide you until you get delivered. Strong. You know what I mean? People don't like me because let me let me say this. Let me put this disclaimer because I know folks are looking. Let me say this disclaimer. That's an obviously you got a bunch of people over there and they got some issues. I said, guess what? You do too. You got some issues, but see, my thing is I've been anointed to do this. And you can't condemn me and tell me not how to cover and how to protect what God has given me. Because guess what? We all have done something. I know quiet in here. Neighbor, neighbor, go shy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell your neighbors a neighbor. If you love me, cover me. Cover me. Cover me. Don't condone my wrong, but cover me. I'm gonna tell you you were wrong for that, but I'm gonna cover you. You are wrong for that, but I'm gonna tell you. Because I'm, I gotta tell you the truth. You need to go back and get that right. You said that in the wrong tone. You said that your disposition was wrong. Come on here. You had no business even as responding. I want people around me. This is why I got to where I got to. Somebody had to tell me, Ivy, you didn't do that right. All right, so I will correct it. Mary is now nine months pregnant. She's now nine months pregnant, and Luke says she's about to deliver. Here's, here's, here's where I'm going. Out of here, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, Cyrus Augustus says everybody has to be taxed. Taxed. And this is a requirement that everybody must pay their own taxes. Come on. You got your own stuff. <laughs> you gotta pay for it. Y'all quiet in here. I ain't got time. I'm telling you, I promise you. I got enough on my plate. I don't have enough to pay your stuff. I barely can pay for my own. And I don't even want to pay for what I'm doing. It's almost
almost the end of the month already. It's Rick time again. I ain't got no help in the car. No, I mean, come on. I just paid. I don't know what's going on. See, like these bills just just coming in, and you want me to pay yours? You want me to pay what you owe? I can't pay what you owe. I can pay. When you have a lot, you're going to pay a lot. I know why some of y'all ain't paying that much. I wish my car insurance was $23. And I 
about if it was a, if it was a 15, 16, 13, 10, then you worry about it. You got a 21 going to sit down. All right, baby, hallelujah. When you're going to tax, watch this, you're going to be taxed by what you have. Yes. Lord, he said, listen, he said, Lord, why I got to have cancer? What does it mean? Yeah. You can pick somebody else that ain't doing nothing, ain't living nothing. You can give that to somebody else, cancer. He said, because there's something in you that I can trust you to carry it. Watch this, to carry cancer and still bless me. Me. High blood pressure. I don't got time to go through all the sicknesses, but carry affliction. And still lift up my hand and say, Lord, I love you. Going through radiation. You don't have no idea what some of these folks are coming in here and been carrying. Dialysis. Come on, y'all. Can the weight of your children. Can the weight of your loved ones. Stuff you've been carrying, you keep being tormented by the same demon. And God is saying, I put it in you because I know you can carry it. Even if you carry it to the end, your request or, or your confidential or your confession will still be, I still love God. I don't know about you today, but no matter what goes on, my hallelujah, my my statement. Still be, I trust you. My statement to God will be, I still love you. I don't care what report they give me. I don't care what job I lose, what car I lose. I'm still gonna say the Lord is good. I said I would have somebody in here that will still open up your mouth and say, I've been through a whole lot, but His name is still worthy.
presence of the Lord today. Certainly he has done marvelous things. I believe God for your miracle. I believe God will do everything he said. As a matter of fact, I feel like he's going to do it any day now. I really do. Some of you don't even know your gift has just awoke. The devil is mad, but we don't care. I got a press in my soul now. I gave God another yesterday.